Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about Shopify dropshipping versus Amazon FBA and which one is better, what are the pros and cons. Now I know I'm a little bit biased towards Amazon FBA because that's what I do, but I'm going to try to stay as unbiased as possible to get, this through, to get through this video and share the absolute most important information about the two. So let's get right into it. Now you can make a ton of money with both of them given that you're following the formula, following the strategies and everything. But there are some significant differences between the two. What is uh, Shopify dropshipping? So Shopify dropshipping is basically you create a storefront uh, on Shopify, you create your product and you only ship your product when somebody purchases it. So that is the biggest difference between Shopify and Amazon. With Amazon, you bring it beforehand. With Shopify, you bring it after somebody purchases your product, right? So in a way, it doesn't have too much of a startup cost. So it's a big plus with that one. But there are some cons as well. So let's get right into the pros first. And then we're going to go over the cons of Shopify dropshipping. So what are the pros of Shopify? Now, to start a Shopify storefront, it's going to cost you no more than $30 a month. Right? It's a low startup cost. You don't have to pay upfront for manufacturing or anything like that. You just have to order products once you sell it. So that is the biggest profit. The second one is that it allows you to build your own brand. And if uh, like with Amazon, as you guys know, you can do that as well. Build your own brand, which is the Amazon FBA. But this one allows you to really, truly build your brand and uh, mold it the way you want to. So that is the absolute plus with Shopify dropshipping. And the third uh, pro for Shopify dropshipping is the fact that you can collect emails um, from your clients and you can uh, connect it with your Instagram and Facebook and start interacting with them, build a database and really provide a true customer service um, from yourself, not from Amazon's customer service, but from yourself to your clients directly. So those are the top three pros of Shopify dropshipping. What are the cons? So one of the most important cons of Shopify dropshipping is that you don't really start with a customer. You don't really start with a marketplace like Amazon, right? So you start with absolute zero customers. Uh, and given that you have not informed your friends, family, or anybody like that, like sales are very hard to come. The second uh, con of Shopify dropshipping is that you have to start learning about Facebook ads and you really have to spend money. So even though the startup cost is not uh, low in the is not high in the beginning, you still have to spend advertising dollars in order to get your sales up. So that is part of the reason I never really truly got into it and I switched to Amazon FBA instead and that has proven to be a lot more profitable for me. So yeah, so and the biggest I think the biggest hurdle with Shopify dropshipping is the products itself. So what do I mean by that? So you really have to get into a niche product, but then again, you have to do a lot of tests to see if the product actually works. Now, the problem is that the products don't really have a high or a longer shelf life on Shopify or they don't sell for long term. I do not know anybody who has sold a single or same product for over a year on Shopify. With Amazon FBA, you can do that, right? You can build your sales up to what you want it to be. And as long as the product is a need, you're good to go. With Shopify, it's a lot harder. There's a lot of testing that happens and that normally really turns a lot of people off about it. So those are the absolute three top cons of Shopify dropshipping and that's part of the reason I never got into it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm being a little bit biased about Amazon, but I'll try not to be again. What is Amazon FBA? So Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. So you basically uh, find profitable products. Uh, you manufacture them through Alibaba with manufacturers overseas, mainly in China. You ship them to an Amazon fulfillment warehouse uh, if you're selling it in the United States. So you got to find a warehouse and ship it there. They will hold your inventory. They will pick, pack and ship to your clients as you get orders and they charge you a fee for that. So that's pretty much Amazon. And basically you create a listing, of course, um, and then you try to push your product on page one to try to sell and build your sales and your sales velocity and all the good stuff that comes with it. So that's Amazon FBA in a nutshell. So what are the pros and cons of Amazon FBA? Let's go through that. So the pros, there are over 350 million active users on Amazon today and 
it's a vast marketplace so you don't have to worry about having zero zero visibility when you start like when you start on Shopify so you actually have if you keep working on ranking your product you have access to this marketplace so that's the absolute biggest pro of uh, Amazon FBA the second thing is that you don't have to pay for ads now there is a platform called PPC which is pay-per-click you can use that and uh, use that to get your page on uh, to get your uh, product on uh, page one um, but it's nowhere near the cost that you're gonna do with Facebook ads or things like that so that's absolutely a bonus with uh, Amazon FBA and the third absolute best pro for Amazon FBA is that it's a lot less work once you're set up so once your product is selling and everything is good all you have to do all you have to worry about is check your listing I would suggest that once a day and it'll take you five minutes to make sure everything is running good and order inventory when you're running out so that's part of the reason you want to check you want to make sure what you're selling and uh, how much you have left and what you need to order because there is a time frame that you order um, that you need to order within in order to manufacture your products ship it especially if it's coming from China by ocean it's gonna take you guys 30 days right so that's it you just manage inventory and that's why it's so easy afterwards it's it's almost like passive income the so cons of Amazon FBA now the startup cost is a bit higher than your Shopify so Shopify is basically $30 a month for your uh, storefront but Amazon you gotta order products you gotta actually manufacture them so you gotta buy hundreds of units in order to get the best pricing you gotta ship them you gotta pay Amazon fees so it's a little bit more um, and um, I would say like to really successfully do it two and a half grand is perfect so it's a little bit more than Shopify and um, the fact that um, it's a little bit harder to build a brand now it's it's not impossible a lot of people build their own brands on Amazon FBA but it's a little bit harder than Shopify because Shopify gives you a little bit more control over that and the third part is there is a lot more research involved up front now you always have to look for profitable products um, a product yes you can sell it for a couple of years but you also have to keep adding um, you gotta build a catalog so you can really uh, survive with one product you always have to make sure that um, you can survive it for a year or two but you always have to make sure you build your uh, catalog and have uh, many products so uh, you can upsell within your listings and a lot of Amazon does that it suggests that a lot of people who bought this product also bought that product so you can play around with that so you can start upselling uh, on Amazon so but again it's um, it takes a little bit of effort research wise uh, to make sure that you're getting the absolute most profitable products and you're selling on Amazon so that's it guys I hope uh, this clarified that uh, if you're trying to decide between the two um, if you ask me again my absolute favorite is Amazon FBA because it allows me to um, I, I just like the fact that I have a marketplace that I can sell to and not have to worry about building my client base from ground up I really love that and especially when you guys are starting up when you're newbies and if you don't know much about the Amazon business it's a perfect way or the e-commerce business it's a perfect way to get started and to make sure you have sales to make sure you stay motivated and to make sure you actually build a business out of this hey guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know how you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I would love to hear your thoughts on this video or any other videos that I have so thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time bye